Hello everyone, welcome to World Geography. This is Ms. Ahlam again. The purpose of this video is to give you a quick synopsis of Unit 1. As mentioned, Unit 1 is an introduction to geography. So geography is the study of human and non-human features of Earth on our home planet. Now, we must differentiate between physical geography and human geography. So physical geography is the study of the science of spaces and human geography is concerned with the spatial patterns of humans and their activity over spaces and places. So we're going to be looking into both of these types of geography um, through not only this unit, but the entirety of the course. So how do geographers show Earth's surface? They do so through globes, photographs, geographic information systems, digital maps, and map projections. What we're going to be doing is exploring each of these through different collections in our textbook and outside of our textbook by conducting our own research and utilizing our online tools. Then in this unit, we'll be looking at the components or the features of the earth. So I'm sure many of you guys are already familiar with this part here. So we're going to be labeling the parts of the earth and talking about their features in great detail. So understanding the earth's inner and outer structure is going to help you understand the forces that shape the world we live in. So even though you might already be familiar with these components in the labeling process, you're going to think how they, how they play a part in shaping people's landscapes, um, the climate, how does it affect the structure, and so forth. Then we're going to look at the earth shaping process itself. So we're going to talk about what forces on the earth's surface shape the land. So we're going to look at internal forces and external forces. Um, for instance, we're going to read about weathering and shaping landforms and the rebuilding of the Earth's surface. Then we're going to look into climate. So we're going to be really looking and discussing how temperatures differ from one region to another and how water affects climate. So this is very nice because you get to use the maps and you get to use current events to go over these types of climates and provide examples of each, along with engaging in some artwork or integrating technology in a very innovative and creative way of your choice. Lastly, this is my favorite parts of the units. We're going to be looking at cultural diffusion. So this is just, you know, a preliminary definition that we have. We're going to engage in it more and understand it in more depth, right? So cultural diffusion refers to the merging of different aspects of different cultures or the spread of one's cultural norms to a different culture. This happens when one culture immigrates to another culture's land. Two or more cultures interact with one another through trade. Um, they also interact with one another due to other factors like geographical proximity or travel. So we're going to see how this relates to us or our certain lifestyles and beliefs and culture. And if they initiated from somewhere else, how did that affect us in a positive or negative way? Then we're going to be looking into trade and development. So when we look at the trade and development, we're looking at interactions between, not only interactions between two different countries, like United States and China, for instance, but we're really going to look deeply into seeing what, how a country decides what to produce. So how a society decides what products it should make or sell to other societies, and which products it should buy through trade. So... We'll also be discussing comparative advantage, and that's when a country is good um, at producing or has an ability to produce a product more efficiently than other products. So let's say like a country can produce 10,000 cell phones or 100 telephones during, using the same resources. That country is better off concentrating on the cell phones because it can earn more by producing them. So we'll get to look at which country is known for producing certain types of goods um, all around the world. So 
you'll get to investigate that. You'll get to, you know, really conduct, you know, your own personal projects when you look into trade and development, if you're interested in that field. Then we're going to look at more of the interaction elements in the units um, in terms of the one amongst people of the country itself and with one another. So we'll also talk about citizenship and, you know, primary and secondary sources when we're actually conducting our research and pulling information from the different um, types of material and sources that are provided for you. In general, this is this unit is very engaging and fun because you get to touch on, you know, the five themes of geography in you know a short and concise manner, and then what comes after is a more detailed focus on each each one of the five themes. I look forward to conducting this unit with you and having fun as we do so.